I'll be able to take care of the uh, British islands, of which there are far fewer, thank goodness. Can't forget about you. Or you. Or you, jeez. So many that I supposedly can't forget about and probably will. I've only got three. Jeez, that's four level five. Five. One. I need a lot more flexibility and men than I currently have. You guys, I want you to stay right there hiding for now. There's at least a few cogs I can have help out in a situation. I could at least get a little expeditionary force to St. Helena and Camp Verde. Hmm. Hopefully the knights will just be like, oh hell no, when Jake wars the rest of the world. Yeah, we can all hope. Right, 4th of July. Then we end your independence, Portugal. Yeah, I think we're going to lose quite a few troops to these island revolts. I could pick some of them up and take them home. But that would make too much sense. I was also hoping Shitatsu Show Holiday Home would stamp down a bit more by the way of harsh treatment. But he's just too easy going a guy. Oh, wow, well, it's well past 4th of July. Knights as defender of the Catholic faith and will defend them. We'll see about that. Still, the only person that would possibly join a coalition against me is Great Britain. Oh, Kiowa as well. Oh, and the knights themselves. But I like to think that they're just going to die. Let's get those flying batteries on the go as well. In fact, let's get them all going, because why not? Maybe I should actually do something about that lack of coggage. Might take a wee while to construct a fleet that could prove it invaluable. Since it does seem to be quite the uh, quite the issue. Well, cogs are one thing, but my lack of heavies are another. I feel like I'm building my arc before uh, before it's already long gone out of usefulness. Hmm. So these two deckers would take a couple of years a piece to do, and I don't even have that long. We'll make do with what we got. Also, whoa, another 15 cogs. Forgotten about you. Call it Dependence Day, Jake. Alright, let's just see what happens. Will the knights join in? If they do, I lose protectorate status. Did they actually rise up in Canyon? Yeah, they did, but they're Navajo's noble rebels. Yet another minor inconvenience. like to get this force up to Great Britain. Is such a feat even possible? Oh, 
Alright, knights. The knights. Oh, wow, okay. Didn't even think about that one. Alright, so I'm no longer a protectorate. I can now sell provinces and do various other things. Like annex the knights. But that means I should declare war on Great Britain. Don't have long. Ah, this is going to be horrible. This is going to be all kinds of horrible. Could you kill after everything I've done for you? Well, is it really worth launching into that coalition war? No one else is going to join the coalition. It's just going to kill, be kill in Great Britain for a while. So I suppose I don't have to worry about it too badly. Oh dear. Seems I got pocket dialed. Okay, now my nation falls to pieces since we don't have the... Uh glorious leadership of the knights to see us through. Whew. That was a hideous loss of life. also hideous. It's coming down south and there's no way we'd uh, get those troops there in time. It's probably going to block us off from besieging that province. Still, I like to believe that my colonial nations can take care of what's going on over here. We'll declare war on Sui while we're at it to prevent them from... Uh... Oh wow, okay. Troops are all going to die around here, I see. Let's pick them up then. Don't know where to put them that would be safe. Since uh, we're not even safe from the noble rebs around here. What are the noble rebs demands? Oh, well, they just want my money. And I've got plenty of it. 10% morale, pff, nothing to it. Right, can you make it? Probably not. What's the 
fastest you can even make it there. Hmm? Not at all. It's not even being blocked, though. Oh, we're not at war. That'll be why. Forget that for now, then. They have so many ships. And trust them to be more than 100% annex. Okay. What does that mean for me then? It means I'm going to have to take a lot of their coast here to remove their naval abilities and their money. Oh well. Back to basics, really. Didn't pick them up in time. Tragic. Well, who can I pick up in time? Thirteen years to go. And really, it's just Portugal and Great Britain. And a few other scrub lords. Be a fine time for Russia to declare independence, though. Let's just keep them busy so they don't even think about it. Right, Portugal, move on after that, if you please. No, he's keen to keep that blockade going. Right, Bermuda, tell me about yourself. Level 1. Easy peasy. Seven, eight, nine. Hold on, was it one? And five's all we need. I'm being told to feed Castile money so they can build a fleet. I think feeding Castile money is a good idea in any case. There you go, my friend. Please don't spend it on an independence war. Good opportunity to fight Chickasha as well. And get them fully annexed. might not be able to distract this fleet, but we might, might be able to put it to our advantage. We do have these two irritating islands that we need to take care of. Half and half. Of course this could go horribly wrong. If these get intercepted it's pretty much good night cogs.
G. All of our nations put together, and we don't outnumber their heavy fleets. Oh, that caught his attention. All right. What'll it be then? Canary approach? That might just give me enough time. You move there on the 7th. I can take advantage of that by moving out on the 6th. Ah, oh, now I've got a voicemail from the guy's arse. Thanks, mate. It's moving to the north. Something current. Why would he be moving here? Does he actually really want to intercept me over here? Because that would be cool. No way he'd reach me in time. Get over there. Get you folks up somewhere relatively safe. Hmm, no, there's nowhere much safer than the Cape. Oh jeez, oh jeez, I'm getting crushed under the management of all this. in case of me being beaten back, but not enough. We we secured it. Hmm. What is the best course of action right now? really making a beeline to destroy Portugal, I suppose. Difficult when I don't have many cannons around here. Question could be, where are all my cannons then? But they're somewhat busy. Now, if you went over to the North Equatorial Current, I doubt that means he's coming up here. Still, let's do what we said we'd never do. Take shelter in Ireland and wait to see what our friend does. Going to Sargasso Sea. So he definitely is moving over here. But he won't be there till the 28th of November. And at that point, no, it does connect here. He may very well be able to intercept us. West Bermudan Sea on the 28th of November. He's going to be able to intercept me. Shocking. Shocking just how fast his, troop, his uh, ships are. Well, he's going to fight me then and I'm going to get wrecked. We should take advantage of the situation and try to get our ships down. West Bermudan Sea. Down into Davy Jones' locker. Pretty harsh. Pretty damn harsh. Don't underestimate those Portuguese navies, yo. So where's he gonna go? coming back across. He is going to make quite the beeline out of it, I imagine. Oh, whoa, okay. 
my cogs. Please, I need those. Hmm. Portugal proves to be quite the bit of troublemakers. Might be a long while too late, but I need a navy. What is Venice doing in China? Dum dum. There, I believe that's uh, pretty much all the Asian provinces that I can make build ships, building ships. Hundred and thirty of them. Yeah, somehow I just don't think that's going to work against Portugal, but we'll try our damnedest. Still, that uh, that's not going to cut the mustard in the grand scheme of things. English patriots going to Great Britain. Okay. If you say so, game. Still, this frustrates me because I'm just sitting around on my thumbs, not really doing anything now. I mean, sure, Portugal's mainland is getting sieged up, but that doesn't change the fact that if I don't take these islands, I can't annex them. And that's what makes and breaks it. If I'm going to be in such dire straits, maybe I should make my move on Great Britain at the moment. Crush him and carpet siege him. And then get ready to break truce on him. Because, I mean, the situation can't get much worse. I 
can't enforce peace because uh, Castilian, uh, Castilian Canada is winning like a boss. Think, Jake, think. Is that truly your best option at the moment? Fighting Great Britain. That's right, I was meant to be fighting Chicksaw as well. Because, hey, let's just fight everyone while we're at it. I'm sure our colonial nations can pick up the slack. So he's going for the Straits of Gibraltar whilst you go for the Sea of Azores. Okay. He's still got that tech advantage over me whilst I don't really have any numerical advantage over you. Nor do I have that many bodies I can really throw into the... Oh, hello! I forgot about you. And I can pick up another 13k from these islands. That's good. That is good. Don't know why I have to accept the demands of Portuguese peasants, but... It's all just politics. Good, we got... Uh... We got our cogs at least around here. So when I fight GB, I can take his admittedly quite few islands around here. And it will be good. Just keeps the, uh, the occupation going. That's one thing I can't afford to stop. Jake, are you going to send anyone to beat up the knights? I was hoping my vassals would do that for me, but they seem to really suck at naval invasion. The knights have tech 30, much like me. What do we have here? Yeah, we could outnumber them quite nicely. If I just get some... Uh, some ships to bring them over. Ships, huh? They brutalized quite a lot of my navy. You, what were you there for? I think you were in order to take that province. But I'll also need you guys to halt any advance of these troops. No, surely that won't be necessary. They're so crap they're getting kicked in by Castilian Canada. That won't be an issue. Send you down there to deal with it. Okay. 